वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आज हम क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स के इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज वट इज क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स आंसर इज क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स विच डील्स विद द मोशन ऑफ दोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट मूव वेरी स्लो स्पीड एज कंपेयर टू द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट दिस मैकेनिक्स इज बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन द न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन दिस इज वाई इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड न्यूटोनियन मैकेनिक्स The next question is, what is conservative field? Answer is the field in which the work done by a force around a closed path is equal to zero. Gravitational field and electric field are the examples of conservative field. Note the direction of conservative field is always in the same direction and straight. The next question is, what is black hole? It is a very important question. Answer is. Black hole is a mysterious region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, including light, can come out of this region. The next question is, what is meant by law of conservation of energy? Answer is, according to law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed from one form to another form. Note, total energy of the universe is constant. The next question is, what is solar constant? Answer is, just a second. Answer is, the intensity of the solar radiations coming from the sun to the outer layer of the Earth's atmosphere is 1.4 kilowatt per meter per square. This constant value of the intensity of the solar radiations is called solar constant. The next question is. What is static and kinetic or yeah, dynamic friction? Answer is the opposing force acting on a body when it is at rest is called static friction, whereas the opposing force acting on a body when it is moving is called dynamic or yeah, kinetic friction. The next question is what is angular momentum? Answer is the momentum which is associated with the the momentum which is associated with the rotating objects is called angular momentum which is equal to i omega where i is equal to moment of inertia or omega angular velocity it is as important in, it is as important in rotational motion as linear momentum in translational motion the next question is what is the difference between orbital and spin angular momentum answer is when a body moves in a circular form it possesses orbital angular momentum whereas when a body rotates about its own axis it possesses spin angular momentum so the total angular momentum of a body is equal to the orbital and spin angular momentum the next question is what is escape velocity answer is the minimum velocity required by a body to go out of the earth's gravitational field is called escape velocity the next question is what is drag force answer is drag force is actually a frictional force acting on a moving body in fluids 